Oh, it's a big week. We just celebrated our 17th wedding anniversary, and tomorrow is my birthday. This past year has been a lot more challenging than we ever expected. It's, uh, man, living out of a suitcase, constant traveling, logistics. It's just so easy to let yourself slip. And that's what I feel like I've done. It's just an easy excuse, always. I don't have the right equipment. I, I don't have a gym. It's too hot. <laughs> I got work to do. It's so easy to let your body slip. And geez, we're this close to getting our boat. And before, got it. H1 in and out, hold on. <coughs> but before we get the boat, 100%, I gotta get this body back in shape. Because right now, I don't even want to see me in a swimsuit. So we've been taking our vitamins, we've been exercising, and trying to do it every day. Which hand's that? <laughs> <laughs> Not that hand. Bet you can't guess who did those dishes. By hand. <laughs> Even on your birthday. Well, almost your birthday week. Yeah. Oh, terrible. That is terrible. I don't have control, don't judge me. All you coffee snobs out there that are like me. So it's really hard to pour from something like this. Okay, so coffee set up on the boat. What are you gonna have? I am gonna have a very nice gooseneck kettle, of course, that can be boiled to whatever temperature I want because we're really getting into tea now. There's so much tea here in Asia, so I have different temperatures. And then, probably a hand grinder. I want an electric grinder, but they're too damn expensive. So I'm just gonna stick with a hand grinder and we've got some D60 stuff. And that's it, we're gonna keep yeah. it simple, lightweight. So pretty much the same setup we have right now with a kettle. With a proper kettle and a proper, I don't know, vessel. This what? one's kind of hard to pour out of. Well, it's because that's your travel mug. Yeah, this is a travel mug. This is not made for everyday coffee. It is when you live out of a suitcase. Jason makes the coffee, and I make breakfast. Quick and easy breakfast this morning, because we have to catch our ride to the factory. So close. Every morning. I always lose a little bit for the homies. Oh. They're doing construction here at this building, and this is probably the worst we've ever heard of. So they operate this apartment building like a hotel really because you can book by the month but you have to at least 30 days and then you can do you know 45 or 58 whatever you need after that and they'll do it per day but it's more for like long-term business travel so it's interesting it's a it's a good option for us because it's more affordable than the hotels and then of course we have full kitchen so we can actually cook and stuff pretty nice and vegetables instead of fried food yeah you can only handle so you'll anyway you'll get the idea once we start talking about food a bit more but you can only do so much noodles and rice and then you're ready for something else oh. ah. huh. normally we get picked up by one of the workers but today because it's my birthday i got a special chauffeur i'll introduce you hey. Hey, how? How? Yeah. Yeah. thank you for coming to get us yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm ready to follow the big meal. <laughs> what people are eating in the office. Oh, yeah, big party. <laughs> big party. He says he's got 12 people, yeah. all this food. 12 yeah. people in, uh, in, in his cake. office. Enough cake for the 30 people. Enough cake for 30 people. <laughs> yeah. So, this is Hudson. You've met uh, 
one H, which is Paul Hakes, and Hudson is the other H of HH. I was born in Taiwan. I live in Taiwan until 36. How many factories do you have? I have uh, seven factories, one in the U.S., uh, three in Xiamen, two uh, in Philippines, two uh, in Vietnam. How much is that totally? That's eight. <laughs> That's eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my message is so good. <laughs> you were at so many companies, you can't even keep up. Oh my gosh. You said one in the U.S. What's the U.S.? I'm making the wake boat and a pontoon boat. And that's Montero, right? Yeah, uh, in, uh, in Tennessee. I got uh, two in Vietnam. One is producing all the softer goods like the yachty cooler, the life jacket, all the sporting goods. Baseball bat stuff. Uh, baseball bat is in Sherman. It's in oh, Sherman. See, see. We produce uh, one million piece of baseball bat. So chances are if you've swung a baseball bat, most likely it was produced by your factory. Yes, we have a big market. We produce mostly the high end. We don't produce the low end things here. Yeah. If there's one thing I've learned about Hudson, it is that you all, you all, you like to be the best. He likes to make the best product, he likes yeah. to produce the best, which we always obviously the best. The, always yeah. the high end. We don't produce the low end things. And then you've also got in the Philippines the HH factory. Yes, in Cebu is the for making all the yachts. You said your favorite and you have to say yes, just making the yachts, right? Yeah, yes is the most exciting <laughs> one. Anything you would want people to know about you or about HH? HH yes, is the best of both. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, that's the only makes the best. Eat more chicken feet, that's what you would say, right? Yes, that's it. So yeah, Hudson, tell everybody, what's your secret to looking so young? I eat the chicken feet, I eat the beef tendon, I eat the, the, the pig's ear. And the pig's ear, because the, the collagen. So the that's, collagen, that's yes. his uh, That's his secret to um, yeah. looking like he's 50 when mm. he's really almost pushing uh, on 70. I'm about some age as a uh, beer gates. <laughs> if you see the beer gates' his face, yeah, he has a ten times more wrinkle than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to say that. <laughs> Dear Bill Gates, you need to eat more chicken feet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> more chicken feet, yes. <laughs> it's so much food. Oh my god. Uh, sushi. Sushi, sushi. Uh -huh. We weren't actually going to come into the factory today, but Hudson really wanted to have lunch and some cake for Jason's birthday. He wanted to celebrate, which was super nice. And we thought, well, while we're here, we'll come over and give you a peek at the solar because they've kind of gotten that all installed now. It's not completely finished, but it's looking pretty darn good. In our last video, there were a lot of you asking about the solar because while well, it wasn't here and you're like, what's that gonna look like? Can you walk on it? Are you doing 48 volts, 24, 12? So many questions. So yeah, this is it, 4,000. 232 watts of solar. I don't think there's ever been this much solar on any boat I've ever seen in, uh, in a 40 to 45 foot. I haven't seen anything with this much solar. So this is a lot of flipping solar, but that's because they designed it intentionally that way. And they will paint all the little bits in between are gonna be black, so it will be a nice solid looking piece. I think it looks amazing. And yes, they are walk-on. And yes, we are doing 48 volts. It's, uh, there's obviously loads and loads and loads to go over, but I just thought, ah, we should at least come take a peek at it. And it looks beautiful. I think, it, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. The factory is lighting up, so hopefully you can hear me. It's getting loud in here. But these solar panels are custom designed. They worked with the solar manufacturer to make sure that they could maximize the space on this roof. So instead of going with like a standard off the shelf solar panel, everything is cut to fit perfectly and maximize the amount of solar we can fit on this roof. <laughs> That's it. That's all we came here for. Some lunch, some cake. So far, so good. I mean, maybe not with the hell of getting healthy thing, but it's a good start. Our car's here. We are going to take you back to our hood. Show you around. So that's our apartment there. 
we are on our way to check in to our restaurant for tonight and it's got to be like the most popular <laughs> spot in Xiamen because it's like literally people waiting out the door you have to give them your name and they call you and it takes like one to three hours to get a table so that's our first stop and then we'll have some time to cook because you have to yeah. go put your name in early <laughs> and then we'll walk around we are in she said about an hour and a half <laughs> this is we walked up and there's nobody here we're like holy crap are they closed it's normally like 20 30 people out here but now they just uh i guess everybody's waiting on a walk like us dangerous walking backwards and filming while in mid bay there's a lot of scooters and bicycles around here so this is pretty much like the shot of death for jason uh all right so while we wait for the restaurant because yes it is now already flipping six o'clock the day goes by fast and it is a like 30 to 45 minute drive from yeah, the depending on traffic. yeah depending on traffic but anyway so now we're back in our neighborhood and this is bin bay shaman is the island bin bay is this neighborhood where our apartment is we've got coffee street bar street food street they're very literal <laughs> and then we have a beautiful park which is where we are headed now Whew. they're always good they stop every time it's crazy should we show them the part behind you oh yeah okay yeah okay. i didn't even think about that so yes walk with me walk. Um, so this is apparently a fairly new little water feature in Fountain, but they use it almost like a public pool and there are almost always people all crowded around, feet in the water, hanging out, kids playing, but it's completely normal and it's like becomes this big like social hangout. That's another view of our hotel apartment. Hotel apartment. <laughs> Do you want to tell everybody how old you are? Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet, huh? Nope. 40. I don't think we've ever talked about how old we are. No. A lot of people never know how old I am, but yeah, I'm 42. We actually started this adventure. We sold everything, left the sticks and bricks life, the normal world or whatever you want to call it. When I was 28, I just turned 28, so holy crap. That's a lot of years, man. And if you would have asked me way back then, you know, where I was going to be when I turned 42, I surely wouldn't have told you that I'd be halfway across the world living in Asia. In fact, I'd never even been to Asia. I never even knew I was going to be buying a sailboat. I never knew. Like, oh man, life is just, it catches up to you. And I feel like this year has been me realizing how much life has caught up to me. Not in a bad way, but like, I got more gray hairs in my beard and then all of a sudden I started getting gray hairs in my hair and then my eyes, my <laughs> eyebrows started doing this and my ear hair started doing this <laughs> and my nose hairs. So now I've got like special scissors to cut all these hairs. Like holy crap, I'm getting old and I think, you know, I, I viscerally remember my dad driving in his red truck. And I'm sitting there as a kid, and he's driving and <laughs> wham, <laughs> wham, and you think, oh man, that is the, I do not want to get old, <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> just, you know, I, I don't know, it's just, it feels sort of surreal that I'm 42, and, you know, as a kid, you never think you're going to get there, but it's, um, do you feel I'm here. Old? I don't, I don't feel old. I, I feel older than I did when I was 20. You know, when you're 20, you're invincible, but now I think twice before doing something crazy. And when I go on a five hour hike, it's like my knee starts to hurt. And I'm like, huh, maybe I should get some of those walking poles. No, wow, well, okay. <laughs> okay, and now we are walking along what they call the lake. They trap some of the seawater, so it's sort of brackish in here, so it always looks beautiful no matter what the tide is. And then there's an island, so we're gonna cross over a bridge, go on this little island. And this is kind of our normal, I would say we walk around here two, three miles, a, almost a day. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a great trail. And it's wonderful to be out here because there's birds and there's kitty cats <laughs> and like nature. It's yeah. just right next to the city, but yet it's an escape to nature. So yeah. it's lovely. And it oddly doesn't sound like you're in the city. No, you can't hear any cars. No, you can't. <laughs> And now, we are on the island. Take off the 
shoes, take a load off. Not only is Jason turning 42, but we also celebrated our 17th wedding anniversary. And that's also, it's getting up there <laughs> in numbers, it feels like, which again is just weird. It's just weird to think that I've now been with Jason equal parts to not being with him. Like, I, I, did I say that right? I don't even know, but it's like, we've been together as long 20, as we've been apart, you know? We've been together for 20 years, married yeah. for 17. Tw yeah, together 20 years, married 17. It's just, it sounds like a long time when I say it out loud, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long. And I, I don't feel middle-aged if that makes any sense either you know I'm like we're only six months apart in age and it just it's strange each time one of us takes up another number I just think I don't feel that old but yeah the gray hairs and the little telltale signs tell you we are actually getting up there and also watching our parents get well our parents Jason's parents getting yeah, older uncle. my aunt and uncle getting older it really starts to hit you with like the whole okay like there is this like aging thing and it's time to start <laughs> serious because we certainly have not we don't go to doctor's appointments like we should I definitely don't get my annual exam annually <laughs> any of that kind of stuff we don't get our teeth cleaned as regularly as we should mostly just because we're usually too busy going and blowing and doing everything else that it gets hard to like find the time to schedule those appointments and this past year has been like times 10 difficulty level of everything mostly just because we are so untethered there's no base camp there's we don't necessarily always know where we're headed to next and there's always just been this one driving target of get the new boat but that's still not ready yet we're getting close but it's it's like we still have a little bit of time in between and trying to kind of refocus ourselves like getting back in shape let's get serious about like trying to take care of ourselves because we can't keep going at the rate we've been going and not have it hit us hard i think at some point i don't know there's some sort of weird realization happening right now at this moment of life which is why we are trying to work out and take care of ourselves and yes drink our vitamins which makes us very happy to have ag1 as a sponsor because legitimately it's the only thing we seem to do these days which is drink our vitamins and we're very thankful to at least have that and not carry around nine different pill boxes and everything else if it wasn't for this being so painfully easy and tasty i'm not sure we would actually be responsible about doing that either one scoop or one travel pack and some cold water eight to ten ounces Shake and enjoy. And this stuff is flipping packed with probiotics and prebiotics, 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, and adaptogens. Plus, it's third party certified, which lets us know that what is on the label is actually in the powder. And that gives us confidence in the fact that we know that we are getting what we're paying for and that our body is actually getting all of those vitamins and minerals. And right now, if you use our link in the description below, AG1 will give you a year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. I'm gonna actually drink this so we can eventually go eat dinner. And everybody left, it was like, kids everywhere when we sat down people running and like now everyone's gone everybody went to dinner we came to show you the park that's so popular <laughs> now nobody's here it's also because it is a weeknight so i don't think there's going to be a lot of people out tonight but on the weekends it is bumping like i don't know 10 11 o'clock at night it's there everybody is out having a great time walking running playing it's a really good vibe like it just makes you happy to be over here it's been the best little reprieve for us outside of the factory work whatever you come over here and you're just it's just lovely it just feels good let's show them the one dance we're gonna show you the one dance here no yep <laughs> okay come over right there okay so imagine we are walking around the park it's 11 o'clock at night you hear all this music 
all these different corners of the park, they're like doing different dances. And we turn this one corner, and this is the dance that we saw. No, it wasn't a dance. It was not a dance. This is not a dance. That's what they were doing, a whole group of like 50 people. They were all slapping each other on the back and butt. No, it was really no, awesome. No, no. Yes. No. Yes. That it was not a dance. That was like, that's, it, they like, they do this whole slapping. It's, it's stimulating, they right? They were like doing it to music. Everybody was doing it. So half of the people were bent over and the other half of the people were slapping them. I think it was just like their like cool down or like, you know, kind of uh. like quick little massage for everybody after the lovely dance Workout, practice or yeah. whatever. But it's not the dance. It was awesome like to come around the corner and see that. We were like, wow, we are definitely in a different world. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> funny just because of the way that everybody was bent over. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, will. Oh, hey, light. Hey. hey. It must be seven o'clock. Yeah. Holy all the crap. lights are on like timers. So they all, the buildings turn on. Boom, 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 all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the skyline just lights up. It's very cool. And then it turns off at like one o'clock to yeah. save energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's not on all night long, but it is really nice. So this is why you can come to the park, you know, at night. Yeah. So we'll maybe come back after dinner. Sounds like a plan. So we're in a restaurant called Dai Thai, and it's from Yunnan, Yunnan, I believe. It's a, a region just north of Thailand, so it's very Thai-influenced food, and it's absolutely amazing food. We've been here twice now. I think this is by far our favorite restaurant in all of Shopman so far. I gotta find what we're getting. Fish? Tofu? It's very good. Yeah. This beer is Wind Flower Snow Moon. It is a beer of the Yunnan region as well. It's sort of got a slight floral essence to it. So I think it's quite lovely. It's almost tea like for a beer, which is very fitting for a Chinese beer. And these are pineapples covered in chili spice. They're very tasty. This is a pickled tea leaf and bean salad. Might not sound so wonderful, but it is. It just tastes like a salad with this spicy, citrusy vinaigrette on it. <laughs> it's so good. Which one is this? Steamed Chinese spinach and homemade black bean sauce. Hot. Ah. Ah. This is why I'm not a food blogger. <laughs> it is tasty. Nutrition. Sea bass, Thai style. Chilies, lime, and cilantro. Maybe just like that. Oh yeah, look at that piece right there. Delicious. And it was a whopping 175, which is equivalent to, do the math real quick, 15, yeah, like $27. So good. <laughs> Last little adventure for this evening is up the mountain to show you that beautiful view that Jason mentioned earlier. Did I mention it earlier? I swear I thought you did. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't know. We talked about it. I don't know. We talked about <laughs> it. <laughs> Check that out. Holy crap. 
spooning. Snails are spooning. They're so spoony. That is the craziest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> Check them out. They even look like they're making out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to look up and see if Z Frank has anything on snails. When they mate, land snails circle around one another. Think full body French kiss, but with more mucus. As they do this, they're looking for opportunities to impale each other with their love darts. I wish this was a metaphor, but it's not. They actually have love darts. <laughs> like actual darts. It's crazy. Land snails have a totally different level of kinky. Wow. It feels a little weird and creepy, but it's also such a weird scene. Not something I ever expected to see, <laughs> ever, in my entire life, much less. Okay. Nothing feels better than after a good meal, going on a nice hike <laughs> with a big payoff. And I say hike, it's more like a 45 minute walk uphill. But uh, it is really nice for digestion. Yeah, and we have made it yeah. right here. And it's an absolutely stunning view. today birthday boy so today we are heading to a buddhist temple and it's up on the mountain and actually we walked there a few days ago with our friend eric who you'll meet in next video but it was like a three hour walk so i'm not gonna do that today we're gonna take a didi which is like their uber and it's all controlled very similar to uber except the prices are insanely cheap and most of the cars that we've been in are electric so we'll see what we get today so what's our price to take us to the temple? 15 RMB, which is approximately $2. Uh, SO158. It'll be here. SO158, right yeah. <laughs> He's already here. Yep. Yeah. There's hiking trails all throughout the island. You can pretty much walk the entire length of the island. And I think the circumference. The circumference, yeah. All inside and all the way around. It's it's pretty incredible. But when we walked here the other day it was 16 km. And I think our taxi ride was just like 6 km and it cost $14.81. It's just incredible to get a ride for almost nothing. And holy cow, it's almost deafening the amount of cicadas are here. It is summer, for sure. It reminds me of like summer in Texas. So loud. Now the summer lies on my <laughs> These fluffy caterpillars, oh my goodness. <sighs> 
looks like an old man's mustache. Check it out. <laughs> They are massive. Their bodies are huge. Whoa. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. He's over here. See him? Oh. It's a butterfly. Yeah. It's huge. Its body is the size of a hummingbird. Maybe it's a moth or something. Oh. I don't know. It's incredible. <laughs> Jason mentioned the trail. Well, that is part of the trail. That's how we got here last time. It is the same trail that we were on last night, and it is so intricate. You cross all these bridges, and it's really pretty impressive. One day, I think it's going to be a mission to try to do the entire thing, but we're working up to that because it's a long way. And our temple. And our, yeah, oh yeah, we're, we're almost there. Oh, it's one of the butterfly things. Ah. Should I follow them? No. <laughs> no, they're too fast. This is a new temple. It's not old, so I don't have any sort of like great history to tell you about or anything like that, or at least not that I know about. But it is up here on top of the mountain. It is a beautiful park and clearly a lovely place to hang out, have lunch, play cards. Kids are running around. It's a really lovely vibe, so you can see why we would want to come here to hang out. We're having our very first Chinese tea experience and we've got, I guess, two options. She's watching me in the background, so if I do it wrong, she'll probably run over here and tell me. Ooh, smells like um, oolong, maybe? Oh, here. <laughs> It's weird to do it like this, but this is how they do it. No. <laughs> Delicate, roasty, nutty, and smooth. No bitterness, no sugar, no cream, no nothing. It's just. Mm. We have purchased tea and had tea at home, and we've ordered tea while we've been out having dinner or lunch or something like that, but we haven't had like an afternoon tea yet, which is something that is very popular here. There are tea houses all over, and we're gonna go to like a proper tea house, but we wanted to go with somebody who. Spoke Chinese so we could have the full experience and understanding yeah exactly because I'm like there's all sorts of nuances that we're not quite getting here so we will do that eventually really proper tea with a local who can help us understand it all so it's not just drinking tea because it's more than that here but we couldn't pass up the opportunity to have tea in this location There is just so much here, and by here I mean in this country, like with their culture, with Buddhist religion, with the traditions and the insane history. I mean, it's ancient, 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 ancient. So I don't know, it, it's almost a little overwhelming. Like it's so much, I don't know what to dive into first. 
and I feel like this is one of those things where I really need to find like a cultural guide or something because yes I want to just like go and see an experience in the raw right but I'd also like to have a better understanding like I really want to know more so I think that's we've been so hyper focused on like the boat and dealing with all of those things and kind of like what comes next and there's just a lot going on with that so it's very distracting in that way but that is the focus but I feel like we're slowly starting to get to a point to where maybe I can figure that other side like the exploration side of things out while we're here as well because you just you can't be here and not dig in so if you've got any uh, hot tips for me on maybe where to find that cultural guide drop me a comment down below I would love to know about it I would love to know more about all of this everything all of it so this week was more about just chilling for my birthday but we will celebrate our wedding anniversary and <laughs> Nikki and I asked each other if we could go anywhere in the world, if we could do anything, what would that be? And we both said, get back on the water. That's our biggest desire. So we would do that here, but we need to reset our visa. So we actually have to leave the country no matter what. So I looked up flights. Where can we go that's cheap? Turns out we can fly to Phuket real cheap. And that's where we're heading. So I just booked flights and that's not this week. But that's like in a week and a half. And the goal is get on a sailboat, get some beach time, get some swimming in, exercise, mental break, all of that good stuff. And last year we talked about how we met and our backstory, and you can watch that right here while we're road tripping around New Zealand. It's good stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me for my birthday. Bye guys.